Good morning, everybody. Mal Terry here. I am just waking up. Let's do it. Uh, I'm just waking up. But I had this brilliant idea in my head for a video, and uh, I want to get it on tape. I know not a lot of energy. Coffee up, everybody. All right. So today's talk is pick your heart. Hey, I'm back home. I'm back home. Home. Pick your heart. What the heck does that mean? All right. Here's a secret for everybody. Life is hard and you get to pick your heart. You know, that sounds a little crazy. You know, we always look, the grass is greener over there. Wait a minute, do we want to say good morning to Miss Lucy? Come here. The grass is greener. My neighbor's grass is greener. It's always greener on the other side of the fence. Well, is that true? Is that really true? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. All right, so let me give you some examples of pick your heart. All right, living in a house is hard. It is hard. Living in a van is hard, and you get to pick your heart. Which heart do you want? Living in a house, oh my gosh, you know, constant cleaning, uh, constant maintenance. The yard has to get mowed. The front yard has to get mowed. Repairs constantly, maintaining a roof, paying for this beast. It's hard. All right, then living in a van is hard. Y'all know I just came back from a van, and uh, it is hard. I'm like, where are my fans? It's hot. Where are my fans? And the next day, it's cold. Where's my thermal blanket? It's like, th Lucy ran away. <laughs> Anyhow, so living in a small space and trying to be organized is hard. Living in this house is hard. Pick your heart. What do you want? Or you can do both. I'm doing both right now. Currently, I am doing both. But, uh, and trust me, this is even harder doing both. It's a lot easier just sitting in the van, not doing anything all day, but playing my video games. But pick your heart, you know, go for it. All right. What's my next heart? All right. Check out her website. Uh, her name is Marie. Love her to pieces at RV Camper. Now then, RV has like a big sprinter. Then she has a gray wolf trailer and she tows it around the country. And in order to afford it, she, uh, work camps. And, uh, yeah, I'm so happy for her. She is a 73 year old camper. And so it's RV camp her, you know, that's her YouTube channel. It's very good. And, uh, you know, I, I can't even see me having all that stuff that you have to tow across the country to go to work. And she loves her job, at, but she does it for money. And then she comes back and, uh, she relaxes in quartzite, but she does all that stuff because she needs the money, but if she simplified and lived in a van, she could live on her budget. But you know what? You get to pick your heart and I get to shut my mouth, right? Uh, it's not for me to decide. All right, another thing I get called out for all the time is, I'm not young. I was gonna say I'm young. I'm not young, but I'm fit. I, I try to stay fit. Uh, um, believe it or not, Yesterday, I spent time, I cleaned out the fridge, I went and got vegetables and everything, I prepare my own food a lot. Uh, doing that is hard. Staying fit is hard. I exercise about an hour, hour and a half a day. I lift weights. Why do I lift weights? Because osteoporosis is hard, you know. Uh, what I do for my butt right now, electrolytes. Why? Because I had a uh, problem. And the medication depleted all my electrolytes. So now I'm, you know, up the wazoo with electrolytes trying to get my health back. You see, I'm trying to get my health back. Staying healthy is hard. You know, like as some people freak out. You exercise for an hour, hour and a half every day. Pick your heart, people. Pick your heart. Trust me, being unhealthy is hard. It really is. So, yeah. All right. Also, making better food choices. Now, I don't have to make my food. I can go to Chipotle and eat out. They make an excellent bowl. It's $10, $11. I get salad, grilled onions, corn. I know corn's not the healthiest. And then protein and cheese. And it's really convenient, you know. But Or I can do it in the kitchen, and that takes like 45 minutes. So, you know, that may cost 2 or $3. That's $12. Pick your heart, you know. Um, then some people stay where you are or move. Now that's one thing that we're looking at. And this sounds like an odd thing. We, we have a lovely house, but it's haunted. It is haunted. It is serious. Where's Zach at to unhaunt my house, right? Uh, you know, too many bad memories here for, uh, Louie and, uh, you know, packing up and moving is hard. Staying here is hard. 
We get to pick a hard, don't we? Yes, we do. All right. And also, traveling is hard. I just came down the 395. And, what do you mean by hard? What do you mean? If you're not prepared for everything on the planet, uh, life can be hard out there in the van. Um, yeah, there were no resources. I think all along 395, you have five towns. Uh, okay, maybe seven towns. You have Reno, Tahoe, and then towns with, you know, populations of 20 in it. No resources, no Taco Bells, no food. Uh, it was hard, but I picked my heart. All right, so now this is when I needed Miss Lucy, and where is Miss Lucy? Trust me, having a pet is hard. Oh my gosh, it is. A, and traveling with a pet is even harder. Uh, and now what do I mean is, okay, so uh, we all know she's 11 years old. She's getting up there in age. She's slowing down. But let's say I want to, she, if she wasn't a service dog and I wanted to go in a casino or a restaurant, I can't leave her in a van when it's 100 degrees out. You know, having her as a pet is hard. Uh, I noticed, now my dog, she has not warts, you know, I don't know what they are, tags or whatever. And now on her paw, she's starting to get tags. And it's like, yeah, she's getting older. But, um, and it comes in my mind, you know, when she's gone, I can go to amusement parks every day, do what I want every day and not have to think about her. But you know what? It's so nice waking up with her in the morning. Having a pet is hard. Not having a pet is hard. You just pick your hard. All right. The other one of the things I'm known for is staying neat and organized. You have met, uh, wait a minute, we had Felix and Unger. I am the Felix in this relationship. Uh, I know where everything's at in a second, where my partner is like, where is my keys? Where are my keys? Maybe we should look on the ceiling because there's a huge possibility they're on the fan right there. You know, I mean, it's like, but you can spend three hours looking for your keys. Me, in my van, and here, there's a place for everything, you know. I clip my keys on my pants when I'm uh, during the day, and at nighttime in my van, I have a cabinet that they clip to. I have never lost my keys, well, maybe once or twice, but uh, trust me, staying neat and organized, a place for everything is hard. But not being neat and organized, oh my gosh, that's even, I think it's even harder, but... Uh, all right, and one of the other things, all right, that I've been thinking about in my van, maintaining the fridge, especially during hot weather camping, is hard. You need a lot of solar to get that uh, little motor going. The little motor is to keep the uh, refrigerator cool. Uh, living without a, a fr refrigerator, people have a heart attack. It's like, you know, they have these mega fridges, and it's like, oh, no, we have one in the kitchen and one in the garage. And it's like, you know what? Doing all that work and making sure everything's fresh is hard. Not having a fridge is hard, you know. Uh, yeah, I'll be waking up at Walmart and going in for a uh, yogurt in the morning. Pick your hard, right? All right. Oh, my gosh. Here's one of my favorites. Having a YouTube channel. Trust me, YouTube is hard. They change the algorithm. They just wake up and say, let's do crazy crap today. Let's do crazy crap today. And, you know, I have a traumatic brain injury. Why can't we just make this simple? But you, know, you remember last month, it's like, all of a sudden, I was getting three, 400 views per video, and now all of a sudden, 30, because people couldn't find me. People got unsubscribed. Oh my gosh, it was a nightmare. Having a YouTube channel is hard. But having all the friends and connections, Sean, I look, wake up every morning and look forward to your comments. Same thing with you, Andrea, Betty Sue, uh, Leilani, Kathy. I mean, my gosh, I hope we're building up this wonderful friendship. So... It's hard, but you guys are so worth it. You really are. All right. Um, selling stuff on the road. All right. So I have my little craft business. I had to make space for my craft business. Everything is all about choices. Do I need to make money on the road? Yes, I do. Why? Because there are things that I want to do. And, uh, you know, I can either have my little craft business or I can carry my friend Max. He has two inflatable kayaks. You know, he, he has chosen this is what he wants to do and make space with it. Me, when I get to a place, if I want to kayak or uh, go on a bike ride or uh, use a boat or whatever, uh, I'm going to have to pay for it. So, you know, how do I pay for it? By selling my craft. So, you know, you pick your heart. Really, you do. All right. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Maintaining relationships is hard. Oh, my gosh. Mr. Louie, keeping up with him is hard. Oh, my. I never know what he's going to do. And he is so unpredictable. He is so opposite of me. I am slow and, you know, always on my path. 
how do you wake up in the morning and just, hey, today I'm going to go buy a van, you know? Really? No one told me anything about that. that. Relationships are hard, you know? You got to constantly communicate and let the other person know what's happening. But I've traveled solo for 12 years, and for me, it was okay, but it was a lot more fun to do it with Louis. So you pick your heart. You really do. All right. Oh, and here's another thing. Having money is hard. And people, rich people have it so easy. Trust me. And not, I've been in shelters, domestic violence shelters. That's hard too. And it's like, you pick your heart. You know, I remember one of my friends inherited a bunch of money and, uh, you know, one of the things was he gets a call and he says, oh, oh yeah, uh, I remember um, like 10 years ago, uh, the person that died promised me this and uh, it was going to be like a lifetime cruise around the planet. And, uh, but then she died and uh, yeah, can I have like $60,000 please? And it's like, so uh, you lose a friend, pick your heart. You know, that having money is a challenge. It really is. Uh, don't let people know you have money because uh, people come out of the woodwork. But you know what? So it's better to have money, but then pick your heart. Really, pick your heart. All right. Uh, all right. Now we're on to the next one. This is how I wake up in the morning. Aren't I pretty? <laughs> Not so pretty. All right. So if you remember from the movie Nomadland, I had the mohawk. I could just wake up in the morning, do my mohawk, and I was ready for the day. This has grown out. It's taken about two years to grow out. Look how thick and healthy it is. Having hair for me has always been hard. And I know there's a couple of bald guys out there that says, I've had the same problem. Or, you know, they have the half a head. They have to shave it. Then they worry about what people think. Trust me, if you're bald, most women don't care. We don't care. You know, it's just a different look. It really is. Now the comb overs of the 70s <laughs> with the grease and everything that we did care about. Anyhow, I digress. Uh, so I'm thinking about getting me a perm so I have more body. What do you think? Trust me, having hair is hard. Not having hair is hard. Maintenance either way, it's hard. All right. And the last but not least, I'm pretty sure, is maintaining relationships. <sighs> that is hard. It really is. And it doesn't come easy to me. I, I Again, we're opposites. Mr. Louie is a gab about. Uh, he really is. Oh, my gosh. He's a little, <laughs> I swear, he's a little woman sometimes. Get, 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 get. Not to me. Not to me. To everybody else on the planet, yes. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, you know, like today I got to call Kate. I love Kate, but I got to call Kate. I got to call my son. There's a line of like 30 people I got to call. Why? Because on 395, there is no cell service. Just a list of people I have to call. Having relationships is hard. Not having relationships is hard. Once again, pick your heart. All right. Now then, if I had Miss Lucy, I would close with Miss Lucy, but I left the door open and she escaped. Stalag 13, isn't it? Stalag 13 from Hogan's Heroes. So I hope this has been an eye-opening experience. What you're going through, wherever you're at in life, it's hard, but it's hard for everybody. And I try to remember that, you know, as I travel through life. Uh, I do. Um, yeah. So I guess the moral of the story is pick your heart. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, I hope to see you on the road. Bye, everyone. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to put my mailing address at the end. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'll put it in the description below. So go ahead and write me. Drop me a line. And remember, uh, this channel is all about relationships. And I hope we're building a relationship together. Anyhow, I'm going to wake up, have some more coffee. Coffee up, everybody. And I will see you down the road. Bye.